welcome to day four. Today we are going to talk about endocrine disruptors. So this is often an overlooked problem, but something I'm very passionate about because for me, one of my main symptoms was really severe eczema all over my body. So it became very clear early on that I needed to be careful about what I was putting on my skin because I would have a, a very clear reaction for better or for worse. If you don't struggle with skin issues, then this can be kind of an invisible problem because you're not necessarily seeing the negative effects right away until it starts building up in your body and coming out in other symptoms. So what happens, like we talked about on the first day, how the importance of cleansing your liver and your gut, how that conversion of the T4 to T3 hormone, a large percentage happens in your liver and your gut. And so the more toxic substances that we're putting on our bodies and breathing in and drinking through our water and absorbing in other ways, then that's just creating this toxic burden that your liver has to process. And the, the more your liver has to process, the less it can start cleaning out the other things in your body. So the more we can reduce that burden on our bodies, the healthier our organs are going to function, the healthier our hormones are going to be, um, and it's just so important. So I always say, this can be a tricky one, and honestly, this was an overwhelming topic for me to approach when I was trying to change my lifestyle, almost more so than food, because it can seem kind of daunting to change all of your products when you're used to using certain things. Um, sometimes it seems like it's more expensive to try other things. So I wanna to share today ways that it doesn't have to be overwhelming and it doesn't have to be expensive and it can be gradual rather than changing everything at one time. So I don't want this to scare you. I don't want you to feel um, like, you know, just this daunting task to have to stay away from toxins because we can't, we can't avoid everything. There's just, there's so many new, um, chemicals in our products that aren't good for us and synthetic things just all around us. So the more we can reduce, the better off we're going to be. And the more we can support our detoxification organs like our liver, our gut, our kidneys, our lungs, the, um, the better able, the, the, the more able we're going to be to process those toxins even if we come into contact with them. So it's kind of a two-part approach, reducing the toxic, toxic exposure and then supporting our body's ability to handle those when we are assaulted with them from time to time. So my suggestion for you is not to go change all of your products. <laughs> my suggestion is to think of one thing that you use on a regular basis. For me, that was bar soap. I was using bar soap every day on my hands or you know, in the shower. And so it was really easy for me to change that, first of all. So I, I will share a couple of my favorite brands today. There's a lot out there. Thankfully, back when I started this about seven years ago, there weren't a lot of great products. So I was really having a hard time finding things that I liked, but that is not the case now. Now I honestly like have more than enough and I, I have a hard time sorting through which ones I want to try because there are so many options. So that's a really positive thing. And they're not wildly expensive. Like most of the things that I use are actually the same price as mainstream products that I would use. So I am very encouraged about that and excited that more companies are getting on board for that. You just have to be a little intentional about seeking those out because they're not typically for sale at Walmart and Target and the main places that you go to get your cosmetics and your cleaning products and certain things like that. Sometimes there are, and I'll share a couple things that I do get just at the grocery store, but some of some of the ones, some of the items, you have to um, order them online, which is actually convenient in my opinion. I kind of enjoy that. So I want to share three different categories of areas that you could think about um, switching and upgrading a product. I'm going to start with um, personal products, so things like makeup and hair care and soap. And I, by no means, I'm going to share everything because I would have a table full of things out here that I'm using. Um, actually, I have, I don't use very many products. I'm very kind of um, simplistic when it comes to that. But one thing is makeup, and I don't use a lot of makeup. I usually just use a foundation powder and um, and then maybe a little bit of lipstick or mascara once in a while. But um, a brand that I really like is Sally B's Skin Yummies, and this is the foundation that I use. They also have other 
um, types of makeup that I've ordered and I really like them. So that's Sally V Skin Yummies and that is on the resource guide. So that's a great place for makeup. Lately I've also been enjoying a brand called 100% Pure. <laughs> like really easy to remember that name and this is the shampoo that I've liked it has taken me a very long time to find a natural shampoo that I like either like the other ones either left my hair feeling oily or too coarse or like it worked but it wasn't 100% natural and I was kind of a little bit hesitant to use some of the the um, ingredients in there but 100% pure as far as I mean as far as I can tell the ingredients truly are 100% pure and it works really well like they have different they have like volumizing ones and silky smooth ones. they have different varieties it's so great so I use their shampoo and conditioner I also just bought some mascara from them that's new and I and I have really been enjoying that so 100% pure is a great brand for that and um, for soap, I love Dr. Bronner's. This is a liquid soap. Um, they also have bar soap that I enjoy using quite a bit. So Dr. Bronner's, we use it for everything. We use it to wash our dogs. We use it um, sometimes on dishes um, and then just like for regular hand soap. So that's a great thing for that. Another thing I want to mention for personal products is the use of perfume. So this is a, a big one that I see in a lot of the women that I'm working with is they, um, and this is a habit. I mean, I was a Bath and Body Works junkie for, you know, a long time until I started realizing that those products were not helping me at all. Like not only were they irritating my skin, but they were messing with my hormones and and just causing all of these issues that I wasn't aware of. So I understand how difficult it is to get rid of your favorite fragrances. It was really hard for those like the last thing I got that I switched because it was hard for me to get rid of those things. I just love good smells so it was it was challenging but what happens when we're spraying perfume on our wrists and on our neck this is where our thyroid is and your wrist is a when you put things on your wrist it absorbs really rapidly into your bloodstream and in the rest of your body so that's the main places we're putting perfume and those are synthetic fragrances that are causing our hormones to be um affected in a negative way and start throwing off that um, that balance of our hormones as a whole and on our thyroids. So if you can switch to natural fragrances and essential oils are huge for this. Like I don't know what I would do without essential oils. I, I just wouldn't have anything. It's the main way that I that I fragrance things. Fragrance things. It's the main way that I <laughs> add fragrances to things because it's a natural. It's a natural source, and not only is it not causing harm, but it's beneficial for your body. So I um, I recommend I recommend essential oils. Make sure you're getting a therapeutic grade, um, and those are great additions to. Um, I put them. I I will put them in like a moisturizer, or sometimes on their own, they can be a good um, perfume and alternative to mainstream fragrances. So that's what I highly recommend. Um, is switching, especially stuff that you're putting directly on your skin because that is directly getting absorbed into your body. So maybe think about that, stuff that you're actually putting on your skin. What can you upgrade? What can you change for that? The other thing is cleaning products. And honestly, I've very, I've really simplified my cleaning products. I use a lot of vinegar and baking soda. I use like lemon essential oil um, in sprays and clove and things like that to disinfect. So I make a lot of my own cleaning products, but I know that, you know, some you don't always have time to make your own products. So I um I like seventh generation. I like the Ecos brand. This is the the laundry detergent that I use. And sometimes, you know, these brands are always changing. Like, it depends on who's owning the company at the time. So there's times when I really trust the brands. There's times when I'm not so sure. So I'm always experimenting with this and trying different ones. But um, as a whole, you know, 7th Generation is a good place to start. It is the easiest because it, it's available at Target and most grocery stores and things like that. So I would say start with what's most convenient. And then if you want to get ambitious and try to find better, um, you know, if you want to try different products online, then there is so much out there. And it can be really fun to experiment with that. So, but truly, I mean, just a, a spray bottle of like three-fourths water and a fourth cup vinegar 
and then maybe a couple drops of, of essential oil. It, like I have this in every room. I use it to disinfect surfaces, um, the bathroom, the kitchen. Like it's it can be really simple and really easy to just make your own, and it's really inexpensive. So if you're feeling like you want to try to make your own, there's a lot of great things for that. And I'm hoping um, in um, a course that's coming out after Christmas, I'm hoping to to do some more hands-on demo, demos for that and helping people um, have the resources they need to do that and the information to do that. So cleaning products is another one. Another category is things that we're breathing. So I think we, another thing we don't always keep, you know, realize is that when we're breathing, that's, those things are entering our body as well for our lungs and, and just that whole process. So it's really important to make sure that your air is as clean as possible. So things like um, synthetic candles and air fresheners and Glade plugins, those are, um, have chemicals, have toxins in them that are not good for us. So if you can start replacing, can, um, like, Yankee candles and just synthetic candles with synthetically fragranced candles with beeswax candles are really great. Um, and, and look, sometimes they're fragranced with essential oils, so that's much better than um, just your standard kind. So try to upgrade your candles and your air fresheners. If you can use an essential oil diffuser, that's the best way that I found to um, to make the air smell really good and actually be supporting your health at the same time rather than doing it harm. So think about what you're breathing in and what you can maybe start reducing or replacing there. And then the last category that I wanted to include was water. And a lot of us have um, water filters. That's kind of um, a little bit more standard, but um, I put, I really, on the resource guide, I put the Berkey brand. I really love that brand because they they have even more advanced um, purification process than like a Brita filter, things like that. That's great. That's better than nothing. But um, maybe thinking about getting a little bit higher end water purification system. They are a little bit of an investment, but we've had ours for going on eight years now, and it's still working great. So, um, and, and the Berkey brand, they have different sizes depending on your needs. Um, it's 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 a really great source. And then another thing that's overlooked is your shower filter. Um, when just like there's chlorine and different things in your drinking water, that's also in your shower. And when, when the water's heated and it's steaming, that opens up your pores and your skin is, your skin is absorbing that you're, you're breathing it in. Um, and so you're, you're breathing and soaking in a lot of toxins if you're not purifying your water in the shower. Um, so I listed a few brands, the Rain Shower brand and the Berkey brand also has really great shower filters. So it's really easy. You just attach it to um, the faucet on there, the shower head, and it works really great. We have ours and the filter lasts for like six months. So you put it on and then every six months we'll replace it. And we notice like if, if we've gone past six months, like our hair will start getting dry and our skin will start getting itchy. And we're like, oh, okay, but it's time to change the filter because the chlorine's starting to come out onto our skin or you'll start smelling it if you're not used to it. So that can be, um, and like I said, those are those are a little bit more expensive to replace um, than just um, like buying a different kind of toothpaste or something like that. So definitely um, start small. Don't feel like you have to buy all these things at one time. Um, it took me probably like eight years of, of moving closer to this to really feel like I had replaced most of the items in my house and that I was using and and still not 100% but at anything you can do to reduce that is going to do wonders so I hope I always fear when I'm talking about toxins that people are just getting really overwhelmed and discouraged that um, they have to switch their products so I hope you're not feeling like that that's definitely not the goal. I want you to just be aware that the things you're breathing and you're putting on your skin are affecting your health. And I and I want you to feel like you can take steps to change that and that there are options to do that. So my challenge for you today is to think of one item that you use on a regular basis. And it doesn't have to be what I listed today. Maybe it's something else entirely. And reply to the email. Tell me what that is. And also... For that, I'll say, if there's an item that you're not sure about, that you're like, 
is there a better brand for this? Ask me in the email and if I know of something, because I, I didn't include everything, it was not a comprehensive list in the resource guide by any means. So if I know of a brand that might be really good for lip gloss or whatever you're asking about, then I would be happy to share that with you and point you in the right direction. So let me know if you have questions about specific products or anything that I mentioned today and I would be glad to um, point you in the right direction for that. So, okay, we have one more day tomorrow, and I am excited to wrap this up, excited to kind of um, put it all together tomorrow. So let me know if you have questions about today's, and we'll see you on Friday.